Hi, in today's video, we are going to talk about the DAO attack. So in the previous video, we talked about DAO, right? Decentralized Autonomous Organization. And we have seen that in a decentralized autonomous organization, each and everything, or I will say most of the work is actually done by smart contract, right? And using the same principle of decentralized autonomous organization, an organization was formed by the name of the DAO. The DAO was an organization which was established in year 2016 and it was working on a very simple principle. Anyone who wants to invest some money to some startup, like it was working as a venture capitalist firm, which was actually helping others to invest in a particular company. So let's say we have certain group of investors. Okay. So what they do actually, they buy some DAO tokens by providing some ether to the DAO organization and they were provided with some DAO tokens. Now these DAO tokens were actually used for the voting. So let's say if some investment proposal, let's say some startup is there and it says, okay, I am a startup and we need some money in order to, you know, to run our startup. So people who will be having this DAO token, they were allowed to vote on this investment proposal, whether to invest for this particular startup, whether to invest for this particular company or not. So with the help of this DAO token, people were given this authority, this power to invest in a particular company or not. So what they do, they simply vote for a particular investment proposal. And if the investment proposal votes are, let's say more than 50%, then definitely they go for this investment proposal. Otherwise, this investment proposal was rejected. So you can clearly see that it was a very simple concept and uh, it was very much successful also. Let me show you the timelines. So it was established, as I said, the DAO was established in 2016. So 34, 2016, it was established. And by 15, 5, 2016, in just 15 days, the DAO was able to raise over 100 million US dollar, which was, you know, record breaking in so much less time. The DAO was able to raise so much high amount of money via crowdfunding. And one month after this raise, the DAO was attacked. There was some issue, there was some vulnerability in the smart contract of the DAO because as I said, right, when we talk about decentralized autonomous organization, most of the things are actually done by smart contracts and there was some vulnerability in the smart contract code and that vulnerability was exploited by some hacker and they were able to extract huge amount of tokens from the DAO smart contract, which was a very panic situation because the investors who have invested huge amount of money in this DAO contract, they were losing this money. So this was a panic situation at that point of time. You can clearly see, right? US hundred million dollar was raised, right? So a lot of amount of money was there in the DAO contract. The DAO community came up with a proposal that what should they do in order to stop this attack and the solution that was accepted on 27, 2016 was to go for hard fork, which we will talk about in great detail in the next video. After hard fork only, the Ethereum blockchain got split into two different blockchains. One was Ethereum Classic and the another was Ethereum blockchain, the core Ethereum blockchain. But we will talk about this hard fork concept in the next video. But before moving, before uh, completing this video, before ending this video, I want to uh, draw some important points to you so that you are not confused because many of you guys might be thinking that the DAO was attacked means the blockchain can be attacked and the blockchain can be hacked. No, the blockchain was not actually hacked. The problem was with the code. The person who has written this smart contract code has not written this smart contract properly and that's why this blockchain or i will say this is smart contract was hard so the problem was not with the technology the problem was with the smart contract code that was written by some human so it is very 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 necessary if you are creating a smart contract your smart contract should be written in a very secure way otherwise you will be you will be losing millions of amount of dollars because your smart contracts can hold millions of amount of dollars, right? So you have to be very careful. You need to have good developers who are actually creating your smart contract. So I hope you like this video. If you have liked this video, please click on that like button. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel because I'm regularly going to upload new blockchain courses on this channel. If you want to connect, 
platform you can connect with me on instagram i am available there and if you want to join our blockchain developer community links are given in the description you can join the discord blockchain developer community you are most welcome and if you have any doubts please do not forget to comment below this video i am active here and i will definitely try to answer your query so meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye